Hey guys, another quick Wii view in Teardown. Uh, this time this 20 euro soldering hot plate. It is basically just a aluminium PCB with yeah power connections down to the main PCB which drives it with an OLED and you can see a little bit this temperature sender also reaching up. So far I've been using like the real deal was such a massive 10 by 10 centimeter hot plate, which has quite a lot of power, but is also with around 70 euros, a bit more expensive than this one. And it's also like, yeah, much more massive, cannot be carried around as easy. And there's also this, yeah, uh, miniware uh, MHP 30, which is a 30 by 30 millimeter hot plate. This is basically like the yeah luxury luxury one which works quite well. You plug in your USB C cable which has also power delivery and then you yeah, can just activate it and it will heat up the plate as you would expect. And seeing from this is most likely this one also inspired. Just here you have like um six by six centimeters and also like the USB-C plug in the back, two buttons and a very basic OLED screen menu. You can press both buttons and it will turn on the um, yeah hot plate mode. If I uh, would have clicked it right. Uh, let's reboot it. So yeah, first click one and then the other button on the back. Also, worth to mention, mention that this case is like um, 3D printed. So it's really like a DIY solution somebody made up and produced mass wise. You can see how quick the heating goes and it's also already yeah hot as you would expect. Let's zoom in a bit and place like a PCB on top. As most likely you are for once, of course, doing some custom projects to debug or to test, or you rework such PCBs like I have here now. And I will just take a tweezer. It's now at about 130 degrees, so it will still take a few minutes to bring everything up to temperature and so far, there are also versions out there which have no recessed res screws here. So you have like uh, screws sticking out. But on this one, it's like flat all over the place, which is quite nice. So even bigger PCBs fit onto it quite well. So right now the yeah temperature is at 165 roundabout. You can already try to move some parts but it's not moving right now the device itself is at like 15 to 20 euros shipped from aliexpress and i think you can even get these heat plates for two or three euros um, but then you have to build up the rest of course so it's not really worth doing that so the first parts move already like here i can just to move the capacitor out of the way. And let's move closer so you can see a bit better. Like for example here, it's, yeah. Since this was all real time, you know exactly how long such heat up is going. And you can also see that like every part is moving. And I guess also the main SOC, but that's still too, Hard. So yeah, now it's moving also. And you can see that everything gets removed quite easily. So yeah, after reaching the full temperature, or roughly the full temperature of 220 degrees, we can see how good it works. And I will now unplug the Cable so it will go down a bit in temperature and I will move this PCB away 
since we now also want to take a look inside and hopefully not to burn myself now. Basically we have these eight screws in the bottom and I try to yeah only touch it in specific areas now. Damn, long screws. So here we go. A bit ugly, but we want to take a look inside. So we have this lower PCB, a bit of space, spacers, and then we have the main PCB, which also holds the microcontroller. And it's basically all falling apart now, but yeah, that's okay right now. So here we are inside. We have this SDC microcontroller. It's an 8051 core and has like your 32 kilobyte of flash and, and so on. I did already a video on a soldering iron with the exact same microcontroller, which has also used an OLED screen like this one. And other than that, you have a MOSFET, which uh, switches the heating element, which is connected via two pogo pins to the top. You can see getting in there. And you also have this ADC, which just read the temperature sensor. And you have this USB PD controller, which is from WCH. And it basically negotiates with your USB-C power supply the 20 volts or the maximum possible voltage. And other than that, it's a quite neat package. Basically just a few PCBs, a few screws and yeah, holders. And that's it. While this is now just a short review and look into it, it shows that you can get enough for just these 20 euros, which you can use as a daily driver to rework or make your custom PCBs in a lower price segment than this yeah, 100 euro device like such. Okay.